This is the brand new Sydney Metro station and I was able to take a first look at the station today just a few months before it's opening. In this video today, I'll be featuring some of the new features of the Metro station, followed by NIF D set testing, the Santa train and a few more little clips. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video and thank you for watching. On Sunday, the 10th of December 2023, Sydenham opens its doors to the public just for one day to take a look at the brand new station, and I was lucky enough to be able to attend. So walking up firstly, you walk through this area which will be a big pedestrian sort of plaza area, and the fencing around here will eventually be most likely some apartments and shops. Then you walk around through and you enter through here. Then you are instructed to walk down this path just here towards the entrance into the station. Now unfortunately the toilets were closed. This is the worst! <laughs> today so no toilet tours sadly there were little um toilet block thing images what the f is this piece of shit is that you get off the uh construction sites um so that is unfortunate no toilet tour today but um you do walk through here and this is sydenham station this will be one of the main entrances into the station where you walk in and then to your right just here you have the aerial concourse straight away so you can get access to the train platforms if you wish um, and then yeah, you have the platforms just here. Now, um, I would normally say this station is very similar to the others, but Sydenham Station, I must say, is probably a bit of a different station. It does have a couple of faint similarities to Talawong Station, but I must say that Sydenham Station is a very, very unique station as it was built on the old Bankstown Line, which I'll flash up some videos just here, but Bankstown Line trains used to run through on these platforms number one and two. You can actually see some old canopies towards the um, Bankstown end of the platform. Um, and uh, unfortunately, a few years ago, the platforms were closed, platforms one and two for Sydney Metro Works, and now Bankstown Line trains run on platforms three and four until the line shuts in a few months' time. Alrighty, it is now time to take a look down the platforms. First, we'll be walking down to the Talawong end of the platform, then we'll walk down towards the furthest point we can go to the Bankstown end of the platform. Not to mention that there were a lot of planes in this video. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. And another one. Just here is a track where the metro trains can come in and reverse um, throughout the uh, sidings area if they are coming in um, from the sidings and wishing to turn around to go to another track. I then began to make my way down to the under, other end of the platform. For those who'd like to see the very end of the platform, that will be coming up later in the video of a look at the very end of the platform on the depot end. Hidden by the information screens, there's actually a few diagrams of what the station used to look like throughout the years.
It is now time to take a look at the Bankstown end of the platforms. Now during construction, the platform was actually extended beyond its original eight carriage length. So there's actually half of the platform that doesn't have any platform screen doors on it. Pretty much meaning that you're able to walk along the old platform still, which has not been resurfaced at all, at least on the edge of the platform, as the old Wine the Gap white line is still visible. So the platform will actually, you actually have a, have a bit of a decent walk from the old concourse, obviously showing that they are trying to get you to use the new concourse at the station. Unfortunately on the tour, the old half of the platform was closed off. And it is now time to take a look at the final part of the open area, the aerial concourse. So I'll be heading up these stairs and this is the aerial concourse above platforms 1 and 2, which is not yet open to the public. You're actually able to see a sort of fence wall which is blocking off the main open area um, to here the closed area. This here is the fence that I was talking about before, it is closed off and also the signs for the platforms have not been covered up unlike the public areas. So it is good to see some signs that are still uncovered or there are a few little parts that have either not yet been installed or are covered. Now it is time to head on to the end of the platform where you can look down to where the metro trains will come out of the tunnel from its previous stop Waterloo which I'll flash up on the screen here, the station I have been to. If you have not checked out that video, top right of the screen is the link just there. I might also try and link it in the description below. So um, yeah, this is the view from the uh, depot Talawong end of platform 1. The first thing that might catch your eye is these crossovers just here. So those will be for the terminating trains and just trains turning around in general into other tracks. Um, and then obviously down further is the junctions into the depot. Now uh, there's YouTubers who will, will explain it way better than I would. So I suggest going over to like Paul at Transport Vlog. He's done some good videos explaining the um, maintenance centre and stuff like that here at Sydenham. So do check out his channel after this video. Um, but yeah, then it continues straight along into the tunnel, descends down in. I'll flash up some um, videos from Transport for New South Wales themselves of uh, the driver's view of the metro train. This is what it would look like when you um, are on a metro train, when it's open, coming up into Sydney Station. So um, yeah, that's to give you a rough idea of what it will be like in just a few short months. I'm now going to be taking a more detailed look at the entrance and we'll also take a look at the bike shelter area as well. Have a quick look inside there, and then we'll wrap up to go on to the next part of this video. Now I think this special guest may want to be featured in this video, so I may as well feature her. The Queen of the Skies, not really, because 747 dominates, but the second Queen of the Skies, the A380, decided to make a celebrity appearance.
Now this is where I'm going to cut in for a second because this is actually really interesting. So apparently there's a story of this man who used to always go to Sydenham Station many years ago and interview people, not exactly sure what for, but um, he would interview people and um, one day, it was a windy day I believe, and he lost his papers because um, <clears throat> he was writing down on um, heaps of uh, papers about people talking about certain things that I'm not sure about what they were um and they actually found some of his letters and um have engraved it into the ground at the new uh, entrance site for Sydney station which i find to be really amazing now i'll be taking a look at the outdoor plantation so um these are some shots here of um all the uh, trees and plants that they have i'm not a plant expert so i can't name them all for you but um, I do really like what they've done with all the plants here. It does make it feel more like closed in, like relaxing. And feels like an area that like the community can be in and feel free in, if you know what I mean. So um, yeah, I, I really do like the uh, plants in the area. I think that was a very good choice. And I would like to see it at some um, more, like even at just general Sydney train station upgrades, I'd love to see more nature um, implemented into the stations because just green makes things better. Like who why would you disagree with me like nature has always made things better so um yeah i do definitely think that the um, um idea of all the plants was a very good idea and here is the indoor bike shelter that you'll be able to access i believe using your opal card um so you'll just be able to store your bikes in there which i think is a good idea so like thieves can't can't come and steal it um they have to pay money anyways to steal it like but why would you steal it, it just doesn't make any sense but um yeah the bike rack area i do definitely like it um and uh i do like the idea of having way more bike racks at uh, the newer metro stations as we can hope to see less uh emissions from cars in the future and that could be a way of the future and this is where my time at sydenham unfortunately is coming to a close but do not leave the video just yet as i am now heading towards redfern to film some special trains but with my quick planning and terrible planning i should say I was running for my life to get the train, which I barely made. So, if you made it this far into the video, comment. Speedy T set. Probably the cringiest thing I've ever done. Uh, so I made it to Redfern, and uh, it is now time for the Red Rattler to make its appearance. The Red Rattler Santa train, I should say. Um, since it's obviously Christmas, um, the uh, they were doing a special run uh, on the Sunday uh, with Red Rattler set F1 covered in Christmas decorations known as the Santa Train running shuttles between Central and Rhodes. Um, so I decided to quickly film it going past at Redfern and literally a few minutes later a D set made an appearance. So quite good if you ask me. So here is Red Set F1 uh, in Christmas decorations coming past Redfern with a little toot. And now time for the ancient fossil D set to pass by Redfern Station.
and unfortunately, you've now made it to the end of the video. If you've watched this far, well done, congratulations, thanks for the support. If you liked this video, consider sharing it with some others, subscribing to the channel, liking the video, starting from today, the moment this video was uploaded, if you're watching this around the time it was uploaded, I will be posting every few days now. I normally post weekly, but I'll be posting more frequently over these Christmas holidays, so do stay tuned for that, and make sure you have all notifications turned on. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, thank you to those who joined me today, Matthew from Ahead Matthew Awesome and Max from Max Conto. Also alongside with me seeing Phil from City Trains Vlogs, Paul from Paul's Train Vlogs and a couple more people. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys all in a few days. Thank you all for watching. What the f this piece of sh if this man does not reach 800 subscribers, I will be deleting my YouTube chat.